welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain how to create hexagonal lock lens left side you can see this is the lensing feature which is going to use for locking the hexagonal nut or hexagonal bolt head right side is a forming tool so i'm going to show you how to create this forming tool for creating this lensing feature see so this is the lensing feature which i'm going to create it is going to lock the hexagonal nut as well as hexagonal bolt head so this is the forming tool which i am going to create and i'm going to show you how to create step by step so let's start now i have taken a new solidworks part file select the top plane i'm going to create a reference sketch See this sketch is for placing the hexagonal nut or bolt head. This sketch should be with reference to the standard size. So before creating this forming tool features, we have to create this reference sketch. See I am taking these dimensions for m5 bolt and m5 nut now come out of this sketch Go to show hide options and unhide all entities. Now select top plane, go to sketch, keep it normal. Take a circle, Twenty mm dia. Go to feature, create an extrude. Flip the direction and can take any value. I'm taking one mm. This is a stopping face. See the blue color highlighted is a stopping face. Now select. top plane once again go to sketch keep it normal go to offset entity here take point to value and select this edge see here
so it's one mm now go to feature extrude keeping in isometric take 3 mm now select fillet entity go to full round now once again select the fillet entity Here take 2 mm. We can see the imaginary axis or temporary axis. Now I am going to create a circular pattern. So we have to select the features. So the axis is already been selected. Now select the all the three features. Now we have to create the inside extrusion. So select this face, go to sketch, keep it normal and select this inside it. circle and convert entity. Go to feature, select extrude. This 3 mm. So we can take any value of height, it should be more than the sheet thickness. So this is going create a whole feature. We can see here inside whole feature going to remove the material and other three features going to create lens feature. hide all types now go to sheet metal module select forming tool feature this will be the stopping phase and material to remove select all the sides See so both sides needed to be selected. Say OK. See this tool is created. So we can save this file straight away in the forming tool folder. See, I have taken a simple sheet metal component. We can create any size. Here, I have taken 30 by 30 mm and applied fillets. And the sheet thickness is 1 mm. See. So whenever we create a forming tool, we have to keep in mind the sheet thickness of the component. Now I am going to apply this forming tool.
see it is forming in other direction we can flip this tool now go to position right click and select keep it normal select this point move near to this midpoint we can assign dimensions so i have taken exactly at the center and say okay So this is the hexagonal lock lens. So this is how it is going to lock the rotational movement of the hexagonal bolt head and hexagonal nut. Thanks for watching.